here is how you use dot products in problems involving non-constant forces. It is recommended that you review the definition of a dot product before proceeding with this video. The dot product between two vectors is equal to the product of their magnitudes times the cosine of the angle between them. A stereotypical example is the calculation of work, which is the dot product between a force and a displacement vector. You need to make sure that the angle between the vectors is calculated before applying the formula. When dealing with non-constant forces, it is frequent that you take apart the force into its components, each of which might be a function of position. To apply this to calculations of work, you must then also take apart the differential displacement into components. Remember that when using the dot product on vectors expressed in component forms, you just need to sum up the products of like components. Here is the result of applying that to work and differential displacement. Thus, when calculating work, you need to set up three integrals for the three like components along the x, y, and z directions. The work then will be the sum of these integrals. Here is an example. Suppose we have a force of known components with the y component depending on position. We want to calculate the work done by this force between the origin and a position at negative 2 meters, 4.5 meters, and 7.0 meters 
in the x, y, and z directions respectively. We start by declaring the definition of the dot product integral. We then expand this by component. We insert the force components. The displacement is declared in the limits of integration. Any coefficients that are not a function of x, y, and z can be taken outside the integral. We integrate. Note that because the coefficient for the z component was zero to begin with, we do not need to deal with that integral anymore. Also notice that in the x direction, the displacement was in the negative direction. Hence, the limits should be set up between zero two negative two meters. This is not a mistake. The displacement can be in the negative direction and work can be negative. Keep in mind that work is a scalar. Unlike force or displacement, which are vectors, and their negative sign means a direction, work has no direction. Negative work just means you are taking energy away from the system. Work has no components, so you need to arithmetically add up your integral results. For work, your result should be in Newton meters or when referring to the energy delivered, this is equivalent to joules. To solidify your understanding of the calculation of work and related potential energy, it is recommended that you check out the topics of spring potential energy and gravitational potential energy 
in a non-uniform gravitational environment.